good day. Please let me present to you the group four and we will going to discuss the badminton. So before we start, I will read the objectives. At the end of this report, you will identify the meaning of the badminton itself, the goal and measurements of the badminton court, the types and equipments, the history, the importance and benefits and values, the safety measures, basic skills, basic shots, and rules. So what is a badminton? A badminton is a racket sport played by either two opposing players called singles or two opposing pairs called doubles, who take positions on opposite halves of a rectangular court that is divided by a net. Players score points by striking a shuttlecock with a racket so that it passes over the net and lands in their opponent's half of the court. A rally ends once the shuttlecock has struck the ground, and the shuttlecock may only be struck once by each side before it passes over the net. Badminton court is usually laid on a wooden floor with synthetic mats used as the surface of the court. The courts are meant to provide cushion and comfort to shuttlers who crisscross the playing surface to deceive their opponents with smashes and clever strokes to win points. Hence, keeping the court surface premium and proper is mandatory. A badminton court provides for the two types of competitions, singles and doubles. The lines of the court are accordingly drawn, badminton court side. As per the guidelines laid down by the Badminton World Federation, the length of the standard badminton court remains the same, 13.40 meters or 44 feet for both sides of competitions. But the width differs with a single skirt running wide till 5.18 meters or 17 feet, denoted by the sidelines. While for the double skirt, the width is extended to 6.1 meters or 20 feet, marked as a double sideline. The skirt has two halves measuring 6.7 meters or 22 feet each and separated by a badminton net that stands 1.55 meters or 5 feet and 1 inch high at the end and dips to 1.52 meters or 5 feet in the middle. The two playing areas on either side of the net are further vertically divided down the middle demarking the service areas. This means a badminton court has four service courts, each of which is 3.96 meters or 13 feet long and 2.59 meters or 8.5 feet wide. With loss of badminton, dictating specific rules for service in badminton, the court has two service lines. The short service line, which is 1.98 meters or 6.5 feet from the net. And long service line, 0.76 meters or 2.5 feet in the, from the baseline, specifically marked for this purpose. In singles, the service needs to be beyond the short service line and within the boundary lines while in a doubles game, the service should be beyond the short service line but it's the long service line that acts as the marker on the back court. This means, in doubles, the serve length is shorter than in single. The aim of the game is to win points by hitting a shuttlecock across the net and into your opponent's court, forcing your opponent to make an error and be unable to return the shuttlecock back. The four fundamental types of badminton serves. Number one, low serve. Low serve is commonly known as a short serve that barely skims over the top of the net and lands near the short service line. By performing a low serve in singles, the receiver must take a couple of extra steps forward to return the shot. The time spent traveling to the shuttle will result in the shuttle dropping in height. This increases the probability that the receiver will end up lifting, which then gives the serving team many more options to control the rally on their second shot. Number 2. High Serve It is also known as a long serve, which travels high and deep into the receiver's backcourt targeting the farthest corner away from the server. 
To execute a proper high serve that achieves the right height and distance requires significant energy transfer, which is most efficiently achieved through a full swing. The rotation of the body and the shifting of the server's weight from the back foot to the front foot generate power that is transferred into the serve. High serve in doubles should never be used. This is due to two primary reasons. First, doubles is all about seizing the offensive and keeping it. A high serve puts the serving team in a defensive situation right off the bat. Furthermore, the service area in doubles is shorter than in singles, which gives the receiving team even more of an edge for a shorter distance smash. Second, a high serve requires a big swing to execute, which will eliminate any elements of surprise as the only serve you will be able to deliver is the high serve. Number 3 is Flick Serve. A flick serve is a fast and offensive serve that travels in an upward direction towards the far service line. The setup of the flick serve resembles that of a typical low serve that seeks to deceive the opponent by injecting power into the serve at the last moment through risk. Adding variety to your serve prevents opponent from predicting your serve by intercepting the serve early to take the point. Players should be wary not to overuse the flick serve as it diminishes the element of surprise. If the receiving team catches onto your flick's tendencies and stands a few steps off the short service line, then they can actually put themselves at an advantageous position to jump and interrupt the flick serve with a powerful smash, which can overwhelm the serving team. Number 4 Drive serve. A drive serve, commonly known as a flat serve, is a fast and flat offensive serve that is meant to travel to the mid to far end of the service receiving area. The setup of a drive serve looks similar to that of a low serve or flick serve and relies on the power of the wrist to transmit power into the shuttle. The angle of the racket Race is what differentiates the flick serve from the drive serve. Badminton was invented long ago. Its origins date back at least 2,000 years to the game of battle door and shuttlecock played in ancient Greece, India, and China. Badminton took its name from Badminton House in Gloucestershire, the home of the Duke of Beaufort, where the sport was played in the last century. The roots of the sport can be traced to an ancient Greece, China, and India, and it is closely related to the old children's game Battle Door and Shuttlecock. Badminton is derived directly from Pona, which was played by British Army officers stationed in India in the 1860s. By coincidence, Gloucestershire is now the base for the International Badminton Federation. Badminton founded in 1934 with the nine members, which is the Canada, Denmark, England, France, Ireland, Netherlands, New Zealand, Scotland, and Wales. Membership of the International Badminton Federation has risen steadily. Um, there was a notable increase in new members after Badminton's Olympic debut at Barcelona. Development in the sport continues to grow and the current 142 members is expected to increase further. The father of badminton is Prakash Padukone, born on 10th day of June 1955, is a former Indian badminton player. He was ranked world number one in 1980. The same year, he became the first Indian to win the All England Open Badminton Championship. Outdoor sports like football, cricket, tennis, swimming, running, etc. keeps the body and mind active and engaged. Indoor games like chess, badminton, and table tennis enhance the concentration level of the student. It also strengthens the immunity system of the body and energizes them. One among the important benefits of playing badminton is that it boosts up the muscle, strength making you strong and fit, 
The continues movements from here to there build up your muscle mass. As well as tone them up into perfect structure, it boosts up your core muscles, calves, quads and hamstrings. Here are some facts to the importance of badminton. It would make the country proud. Many titles could be achieved. It is a very famous career. It would make the people proud. Badminton is a fantastic full body workout. The rapid movements, jumps, smashes and crunches while playing badminton will help build up your muscles to make them leaner, stronger and fitter in no time. It tones the legs, calves, glutes and quads, as well as the core, back and arms. Top 10 Benefits of Playing Badminton The first one is AIDS Weight Loss. As the sport involves a lot of physical activity, you shed a lot of calories as well. You make use of every muscle in your body. This helps in shedding unnecessary body fat as well. Second is tones your body. If you wish to maintain a good physique, you should play badminton. While playing, you are exercising your calves, quads, hamstrings, and your core as well. Badminton provides the cardiovascular workout your body needs, thus toning your muscles as you play. This improves heart function. As it increases your heart rate, it also encourages the maintenance of your heart. Badminton strengthens your heart muscles. It aids in unclogging the walls of your heart, thus improving blood flow. It also aids in blood circulation. It improves metabolic rate. Good metabolism results in maintaining overall physical fitness. Badminton improves your cardiopulmonary function. It encourages sweating. This allows your body to remove toxins and achieve a higher metabolic rate. It increases bone density. Playing badminton regularly promotes cell growth. This indirectly helps in strengthening your bones as well. Strong bones eliminate joint or muscle injury. Minimizes the risk of diabetes. Believe it or not, badminton helps reduce blood sugar levels, which also helps in reducing diabetes. Increases concentration. It takes a lot of focus to play badminton. It keeps you in your tooth at all times. Once the game gets fast paced, it also improves your reflexes. Decreases stress. Playing badminton for as little as 15 minutes can help reduce stress. It helps keep your mind relaxed while at the same time motivates you to do better. Good for mental health. If you feel low or stress, dust off your rackets and shuttle and get hold of your loved ones to play a match. It is sure to elevate your moods as well as of your friends. It fights insomnia. As badminton is a strenuous physical sport, it makes you feel exhausted. Given the current scenario, being at home with limited movement has taken a toll on our sleep schedules. Ethics, fair play, and honesty. The purpose of this is to have a fair game without cheats, but only pure skills and strategy health. When we said sports it already has a health benefits. Since badminton is also a sport, you can attain a health benefits from it. Excellence and performance. Every sports requires excellent performance so that you or your team will win. Fun and joy. Compete with smile and enjoyment. That's also one of the most important thing when it comes to sports. Teamwork. Badminton also has a two on to game which teamwork is required in order to defeat your opponent. You and your teammate must agree and combine your ideas so that you can do a better teamwork. Dedication and commitment. Dedication is the desire to work for a common objective which is to win and become good at the set sports. To achieve your athletic potential, you must have a strong work ethic and the belief that you can succeed. Courage. Your team will gain a competitive advantage if its members demonstrate courage and accepting responsibility for their team's role and behavior. If they have the courage to be fearless on and off the field, standing up to injustice while retaining a good outlook. Safety measure. Badminton can be played by a young and old alike and is a good way to exercise and keep fit. But to play the game, you do need to have a certain level of basic fitness. 
If you are overweight or haven't exercised for a while, you should get yourself into a reasonable conditions before attempting to participate in the sport on a regular basis. Safety Rules of Badminton While not known as a contact sport, badminton can still produce its share of injuries. Badminton requires running, jumping, and sometimes violent swinging motions, putting all participants at risk. To help limit potential injury, players should only compete at their own fitness and skill levels. Stretching All badminton players should warm up before competing with some stretching and light cardio activity, like running and plays. Stretching limits the risk of potential muscle pulls and strains. Equipment Only legal badminton rackets and shuttlecocks should be used. Rackets that are too heavy may generate excessive power increasing the risk of injury from routine gameplay and accidental collisions between teammates. Gameplay During gameplay, all official badminton rules should be followed to ensure fairness and safety. Teammates should practice communication to avoid collisions and accidental racket strike. Clothing Wearing the proper footwear will help prevent ankle and knee injuries. Shoes should have excellent support and provide adequate shock absorption. Gloves may be worn to prevent hand blisters from holding the racket. Typical injuries Eye injuries Although the number of eye injuries in badminton are not as high as in other racket sports like squash, they do tend to be more serious. Tennis elbow This can be caused by gripping the racket too tightly, combined with the lack of strength in the forearm muscles. Knee injuries Wearing incorrect footwear can be a contributing factor in getting knee injury while playing. Ankle injuries Sprains and twists of ankles are quite common, but normally don't result in any serious long-term injury. Avoiding injury The risk of injury can be reduced or avoided by proper preparation. A lack of technique, lack of flexibility, insufficient strength, wrong equipment, lack of a warm-up, and overuse are the main reasons for badminton injuries. Number 1. The gripping. We have two types of gripping. The forehand grip and the backhand grip. For the forehand grip, put your right hand on the face of the racket and slide it down until you hit the grip close. The three fingers and put your thumb finger above the middle finger. For the backhand grip, in that case, it will also help you switch to backhand easily. Have your thumb finger farther away from the three fingers. Press your thumb on the widest surface and relax your index finger. Closer the middle finger. The thumb is used to generate and control power. The backhand grip is like you're doing a thumbs up. Number 2. The ready position. You should always have to be ready with the help of the ready stand, with somewhat like wide stance. Your feet a little more with shoulder width apart your weight. Should be lowered with your knees slightly bent so that you can easily move when necessary. Please note, keep your eyes straight on the shuttlecock and hold tightly on the rocket. Number 3. The serving. We have two types of serving, the long and short serving. To do the long serve, you need to hit the shuttlecock using underhand or hand stroke. Meanwhile, for the shorter serve, you need to hit the shuttlecock using underhand backhand stroke. Always remember that you cannot and should not serve until the receiver is ready. Number 4. The Stroke When the shuttlecock flies going towards a particular area around your body, you need to use the different strokes such as underarm forehand stroke, underarm backhand stroke, overhead forehand stroke, overhand backhand stroke number five the footwork the most important and effective footwork is the aesthetic form in which you go sideways or diagonal ways always have your starting point at the center after hitting the shuttlecock always go back to your base the center point so let's now proceed to the badminton games rule one a player must wait until the opponent is ready before serving two Player must serve diagonally across the net to their opponent. 3. As points are won, then serving station move from one side to the other. 4. 
If a player touches the net with any part of their body or racket, then it's deemed a fault and their opponent receives the point. 5. If the shuttlecock hits the net or lands out, then a point is awarded to your opponent. 6. All players must be inside the lines of the respective service courts at the point of contact during the serve. 7. A shuttle landing on the line is alright. 8. A serve must be hit under arm and below the surface placed no overarm serves are allowed. 9. During play, the player may move around the court as they wish. 10. Players are permitted to hit the shuttlecock from out of the playing area. 11. In badminton, only the server can win points. 12. Players should announce the score of the game before serve at the shuttlecock. Call out your total number of points, followed by your opponent's total number of points. What is rally? When you and your opponent hits the shuttlecock back and forth until someone misses and the shuttlecock lands on the ground, this is called rally. After you serve the shuttlecock, your opponent attempts to hit it back over the net to you. If they miss shuttlecock and it lands in the court, you win the rally and score one point for both singles and double games. You must warm service courts when you win a rally if you have a partner trade places. After the first service performed, the next server is determined by whoever wins a rally. If you serve the first round and won the first round, rally continues serving until the other player wins a turn. What is let? A let is a situation requiring a replay. This may include the shuttlecock getting stuck in the neck. The server serving out of turn one player was not ready for a decision. Which was too close to call how to win badminton game, the player who reaches 21 points first wins the set. If the scores are tied 20 to 20, then it comes down to whether the player managed to get two clear points ahead. If the points are still tied 29-29, then the next point will decide the winner of the set to win the badminton game. The player must win two out of three sets played popular in badminton rules. So let's now talk about the famous badminton players in the world. Let's take a look at the five best female badminton players in the world. The first one will be Rodi Hartono Kornyawan. No list of the best badminton players, either past or present, is complete without the name of Rodi Hartono Kornyawan. Of Chinese-Indonesian descent, this remarkable badminton player won the All England Championship Trophy eight times throughout the 1960s and 1970s. The World Championships for Men's Singles in 1980 and four Thomas Cup Team Championships for Indonesia, to name only a few. The second one will be Morten Frost Hansen. Denmark's Morten Frost Hansen remained among the top three badminton players in the world for a period of 12 years during his career, which spanned the years from the mid-1970s to the early 1990s. And the third one will be Yang Yang from China. In 1963, Yang Yang was born in a sports home in Nanjing. His parents used to be a volleyball player. At the age of 15, he entered the provincial team and at the age of 20, he was elected to the national team. Number 4. Lin Dan Lin Dan can say to be one of the greatest badminton players in the world. In his sports career, he won 5 world championships, 2 Olympic gold medals, 5 British championships, and 42 world badminton series championships. The fifth one will be Lee Chung Wei from Malaysia. Since the introduction of official ranking for badminton in the 1980s, he has held the record in rank in the world first place for the longest period. He is also the player who won the most men's singles event in history. He ever participated three times in Olympic Games, but unfortunately, even though three times, also he managed to go into the final. But three times he loses in the Games and only got the silver medal for the Olympic Games. After the male players, now is the time for us to take a look at the top five best female badminton players in history. So the first one will be Zhang Ning from China. Of course, not all of the most famous badminton players are men. Worthy of mention among these elite groups in China's Zhang Ning, a women's singles player who won the gold medal in the Olympics in both 2004 Athens and 2008 in Beijing. She only started playing badminton at the age of 10. At such an age, it's considered quite average for a player to start practicing badminton in China. The next one will be Li Lingwei. 
it is from China, the first badminton women singles athlete in the history of badminton who won the World Cup, All England Open and World Series Grand Prix Finals. She won 13 World Championships in her badminton career. She is known as the Queen in Badminton Arena. Third one will be Carolina Maria Marin Martin from Spain. This is the world's number one female player from Spain. Anyone who pays attention to the badminton sports knows that the female badminton has always been the world of Asian players. In recent years, Chinese female players have swept almost all the championships. However, Carolina Marin's appearance has broken this pattern. She won the World Women's Singles Championship twice 2014 and 2015 and won the championships in the 2016 olympic games the next one will be susi susanti from indonesia she is the first olympic women singles gold medal winner in badminton she is also the greatest badminton women singles athlete in indonesia's history she has a very good stamina and her standard playing style is to exhaust the opponent's physical strength energy and endurance in exchange for victories so the last but not the least, Sena Niwal from India. At the plateau of her badminton career, Sena became the first Indian women singles player to be ranked first in the world. She is the best badminton player in India's history. She has scored very good results at a young age. Her excellent playing techniques at the front net and strong smashing have made a great treat to her opponents. In India, she is a renowned sports player who is like a movie celebrity. And that's a thank you. Letting go, yeah, it isn't easy. Two hearts slowly break.